and it's Monday, so we welcome Ginny onto the set with some trending news to get our uh, Monday going. What do you have for us, Ginny? Uh -huh. Well, I've always kind of wanted to see like an old shipwreck. These oh, people got oh, yeah. to see that, and a shark wanted to check it out as well. So Ooh. here's some really pretty video. Uh, Spearfishing turned into a shark encounter when there was a face-to-face -face with a great white shark 60 feet under the surface. It was caught on a GoPro video. These people happen to be huge, just marine animal supporters. So mm -hmm. it was kind of a cool coincidence there. And it'll show you in just a second here. They are just touring the shark, or this shipwreck, pardon me. And the great white. Yeah, they're stalking the shark there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the roles have been reversed. It was about a 10 to 13 footer, so not that okay. big. <laughs> yeah, and you can't be that bad of a guy. I mean, look at those little fish hanging out with him. That's exactly. Right. That's right. <laughs> Those are his thugs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one here. Uh, in Saturday night's Notre Dame-Minnesota hockey game, you'll see in just a second here, there was a really good check that results in the glass shattering Ooh. and delaying the game. I looked into this a little bit more in like the history wow. of glass. They've changed from tempered glass to yeah. plexiglass and uh, the different glasses resulted in different concussions and other problems. Mm. They started with chicken wire way, way oh back in gosh. the day. <laughs> but <laughs> the unruly fans were poking players, so they <laughs> had to go to where they are now. Yeah, gosh, that just shows the power of a puck. Now, if they would do electrified chicken wire, that would have stopped the wow, look right. at that. <laughs> People would not be doing that no as much, No poking I think. the players. <laughs> wow, what oh. a hit. Last story here. A Connecticut man is fighting a ticket for, wait for it, for distracted driving after he says the police officer confused his hash brown patty for a cell phone. <laughs> and he has spent about $1,000 writing or fighting this ticket. It was about a $300 ticket, but I think this one is just the principle of the matter. That's him holding the phone there uh -huh. and then the hash brown. <laughs> Eating. Uh -huh. So we will see who comes out on top here. Yeah. So. I think he has a good case. He does. Because, <laughs> you know, it could be right there. That's a that jury could decide. totally be a phone. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd be willing to bet you that guy's been packing that hash brown for months just in case he gets dinged using his yep. cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. Keep exactly. it in the glove box. Pretty smart. Uh, so take note here, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> definitely going to keep one in my glove compartment. All right. Thank you so much, Janine. Thank that you. was fun. All right.